Exchanges are basically what they are. They are a platform that allows people to exchange one crypto asset for the other. They function quite similarly to how the stock market exchange works. The difference though, however, is that the uniqueness of crypto and its underlying layer, the blockchain, makes crypto exchanges function quite differently from these other traditional exchanges. In this video, we're going to consider the two types of exchanges. We're going to see the advantage and also their disadvantages and what you need to do to protect yourself when using either of these two exchanges. Generally, there are two types of exchange. We have centralized exchange and then the decentralized exchange. A centralized exchange is just as you must have guessed, centralized. It is owned and controlled by a firm or a corporate entity where users buy, store and sell cryptocurrencies. Centralized exchanges require you to create a profile, complete KYC, which varies depending on the exchange, and then you have to give up custody of your crypto assets when you make deposits to these exchanges using the provided wallet addresses. On the other hand, decentralized exchanges are not owned or controlled by a single person. They are a P2P marketplace where users and sellers are connected together without a user giving up their crypto assets. Now that we know what these two types of exchanges are, let's see their advantages and their disadvantages. And then you'll be able to decide which option you will use or if you would like to combine both types of exchanges in your crypto journey. One, they are user friendly. They offer the most basic entry level into crypto. Basically, you just sign up with an email address and the password, you complete other information and you already have an account. It is similar to what the average person is used to. Number two, security. By facilitating transactions through an extra layer of security, some users feel safer and more comfortable using centralized exchanges. Number three, liquidity. The top exchanges have deep liquidity, meaning that they won't have to worry about issues with high slippage on your transactions. Then number four is funds recovery. In the event that you lose your phone or your laptop, you can always gain access to your account once you are able to provide information that will be verified. And then advantage number five is asset transfer. Basically, this means that in the case of debt, which no one expects would happen, but it can happen. A next of kin who has all the necessary information will be able to gain access to the funds of the deceased. Now, let's look at the disadvantages of centralized exchanges. Number one is custody. Depositing your crypto assets on an exchange basically means you are giving up custody of your crypto assets. Number two disadvantage is the misuse of funds. Some exchanges operate a fractional reserve method. What this means is that they take user deposits and use for other purposes. They can loan out your assets without your permission. Number three is hack. As seen many times over, Many crypto exchanges can be hacked and that means that your crypto assets can be stolen by an attacker. Number four is fraud. Since a centralized exchange has custody of your assets, they could defraud users 
and this usually happens on smaller exchanges number one asset custody you basically have custody of your crypto assets your keys your crypto number two permissionless you do not need to complete any kyc or fill out any form to use a decentralized exchange anyone anywhere with an internet connection can use a decentralized exchange number three privacy no sensitive information is taken from users since no kyc is needed users can always stay anonymous one smart contract risk if a user interacts with a malicious contract they could lose all their money two user friendliness it's still difficult for an average person to use decentralized exchanges today they have to set up a wallet connect their wallets and then pay attention to slippage that may be needed for some transactions number three disadvantage is security it has its own security risk as well a user has to set up a wallet and keep their seed phrase secure now if the seed phrase is lost access to that wallet is lost if the seed phrase is stored in an unsafe place access to the wallet can be gained by a bad actor and that is not good number four asset transfer in the event that a user becomes deceased there is no way for a next of kin to claim the funds in the wallet funds could become lost forever now that we have seen the advantage and disadvantages of both the centralized and decentralized exchanges the question is which one should you use as for me, I use both, and many people do so too. The fact remains that both centralized and decentralized exchanges will always have their place. If you choose to use the decentralized exchange, make sure that your seed phrase is well secured. Most users have found using a hardware wallet to be very helpful and safe. If you choose to use a centralized exchange on the other hand, then consider the following. 1. Proof of reserve. Number 2 is to find out if that exchange has any debt. Number 3. Make sure that they are not spending too much time promoting their exchange token. And then number 4. Be sure that there is a general positive sentiment around the exchange. As more transparency comes to centralized exchanges, users will feel more comfortable using them going forward. And also for decentralized exchanges, as the user experience gets better, this will allow for more mass crypto adoption. One thing is certain, both are moving in the right direction and they offer more transparency than traditional finance what do you think which of these exchanges will you use let me know in the comment section below a shout out to bybit for sponsoring this video bybit is a centralized exchange with over 10 million users when you sign up, they offer $30 as a bonus for signing up and then an upwards of $4,000 when you make deposits. You can sign up using the link in the description below. If you found this video very helpful, then do well to hit the like button and also to subscribe for more content like this one. If you can, please join my community on Discord where I share crypto analysis and other contents which are absolutely free also sometimes i share my thoughts on certain projects that i feel may do well and many of members of my community have found that very helpful until the next one stay safe